Is she? Yep. You guys, she's got an eye patch. Hi, you guys. It's Friday. This is Men and Channel Live. I'm Beth Hoyt. And the tan that I got over Labor Day weekend at the lake is diminishing as we speak. Ah! It's cleaving me. Okay, so we were all away last weekend celebrating the holiday and just wearing the crap out of our white pants. And we didn't have a bath of the week last week. Um, but I was thinking about it, and the only thing that we all really need to remember, and remember it hard, because this puppy might just get better with age, so long as Nate doesn't gain any self-confidence, is Daily Grace, Nate and I doing Gangnam Style. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. That was really fun. You should do that at home, guys. I can't always say that about the things we do here. Now, if this was your first week of school or you just moved into a dorm, congratulations. I didn't really do anything of note this week. Um, I watched the Breaking Bad season finale, amazing, and the True Blood season finale, hate watching. Um, I used up all of my monthly what's on that episode. I used them all up. That's like all I did this week. Oh, wait. I did all of this. is from Albert Einsteinium, and it is magical. <laughs> magical. Uh, M-A-G-I-K-A-L. That's correct. Oh! I'd marry Oprah because of the stability and the complete lack of sexual chemistry. She'd just give me money and then leave me alone, Stedman style. And I'd have to kill Dr. Phil. Isn't that obvious? So what, how do you sharpen a pencil? I just thought you stick it in and do the thing and then it's done. Yeah, me too. How old are you? Uh, 22. Okay, that, that explains me, me a lot. Too. What if me and my friends all have the same crush on our teacher? Surprise, it's illegal for your teacher to like you back, so you better stop that crush real quick. Okay, this one better be it. Let's see it. What? What is... <laughs> I, I think that's how I see yourself. Can you show us a perfectly sharpened pencil? I can't. I think... Next comment. And then that, that's it for the time capsule for today's show. Um, let's seal it up. And... Done. There we go. Remember when you made that time capsule? Yeah. You want to see what's inside uh -huh. it? <laughs> okay. When was the last time you wet your pants, Nate? Was it recently when you were in bed and you thought you were peeing, but you were really just in your bed and you were in the bathroom? What is this up here? Is this your face or did your neck throw up? <laughs> Nate, you're going to be alone forever. F-O-R-V-E-R. Don't do that. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, gosh, you guys. Say something. Say something. And see. Okay. <laughs> wow. Really saved by that bell, Nate. <laughs> okay. I love you. Yeah, so all that happened this week. I feel good about that. Um, we also have an extra episode of David Reese, Artisanal Pencil Sharpener Extraordinaire. You can watch it here, or the link is in the description below. You'll learn a lot, and you'll laugh. And here's something else to make you laugh. It's Save the Supers with Superforce versus Online Dating. Previously on Save the Supers, the Superforce budget keeps shrinking. Fleetfoot made a video with some lofty claims. The world's fastest man. My man was super bummed to see Elementra sucking face with a teacher. Will he ever get laid? Jesus Christ. Find out now.
We're recruiting off Hero Day now? Oh, um... Oh, you're using Hero Day. Well, that's cool. As in, not at all. Yeah, you know, we can't all use our truth breath to score hot dates. That was one time post-Salem witch trials with Brad. Brad, eh? Yeah. Is that the, uh... That's the teacher? Yeah. I thought, th I thought that was just gonna be, like, a flingy thing for you. So did I, but... I mean, he's not just hot, he's nice and <laughs> funny. And he fucks like a jackhammer. Ah, oh, yeah. Hey, guys! There's no one here yet. No, they're coming. They're like, I can hear them. There's this one thing he does with my leg that's like... What's it matter who's fastest when we're all on the same I'll team? You a it's important that we know all the ways I'm better than you. Okay, uh, we all here? Uh, where is Night Night? Gentlemen. Dude, were you there the whole time? A fair lady, Elementra. I'd like to introduce you to the 42nd boy, Sparrow. <gasps> Great, another Sparrow. You know you don't get paid, right? 42nd boy, Sparrow, you bet. Ah, 42nd time's the charm. Mm. Okay, hey, Sparrow, all right, yeah. Hey. Welcome to the team, man. Okay. So, the uh, high school got back to us with a giant bill for the confetti bomb cleanup because all the janitors got sick from inhaling confetti dust. <laughs> <coughs> Confetti long. I lost Sparrow 12 that way. Okay, so that's a thing. Uh, so to pay for it, we're gonna have to dip into the entertainment budget. Oh. And that means we're gonna have to cancel our headquarters party tonight. Oh. No. What? what? How horrible. Oh my gosh. Shut up. Look, I got a lunch meeting, so let's get to it. Um, Fleet, get on canceling all the party arrangements, DJs, caterers, etc. Yay! A project! Night, night, I need you to update the software on the Superforce computer. Just stop trying to revise the terms of service. It's non negotiable. Just click accept. Convoy Sparrow. <laughs> okay, is it even worth learning his name? And you two. 20 felonies each. Stop them. Busy work. Oh, and I hope your meeting goes well. I hope your meeting goes well. Okay. You don't even know. You have no frame of reference. Uh, no, I don't want to hire new DJs. I just want to cancel the one that we already hired. So hey, Fleet. You... You're black. Thank you for noticing. I'll just be one second. I'm on the phone. That's why you think you're faster than me. That's racist. Wait, three DJs for the price of one? That is a good I saw your presentation, Fleetfoot, the world's fastest oh, super. Yeah. First off, you can't say world. I bought that word off that guy who sells words outside the post office. That sounds like a scam. So you're slower than me and stupider, too. It's a sad day for your people. I'll call you back. Nobody calls me slower. Now we join Merman on his date. Already in progress. Uh, well, we won Frederico here. All right. What's up, buddy? Oh, oh, Frederico says that I'm way out of your league, by the way, so sorry. Oh, oh nice uh, fish talking abilities. Thank you. <laughs> so, Rascal, what is your power outside of being uh, rascally? <laughs> I don't usually talk about it on the first date. It's a little embarrassing. Look, I squirt ink out of holes in my hand, <laughs> so it doesn't get much worse than that. It's hot. <laughs> Not really. I'm an energy absorber. I will literally suck the life out of you if you touch me. Okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm dating someone that I can't touch. Well... I don't normally kiss on the first date, but... How can you first... I mean, how does it even... Okay. <laughs> wow. All right. Mm -hmm. So, Nepal to Shanghai to Ecuador. No skipping Australia. No flying. All right, let's just do this race quick. I don't think leaving night-night alone at the HQ is ever a good idea. Whoever attacks Sparrow's hand first wins, right? Right. So why are you staying in front of me? Because we're going around the world, idiot. Okay. Turn around. <laughs> Let's go, fleet foot. Woo! Let's go, world man. Okay. On your mark. Get set. Go. Winner. Oh, let's let Sparrow be the judge of that. Right, Sparrow? Something's different. 
Where are my arms? Ah! Oh my God! Ah! This is probably my arms. Stay with us, Sparrow. You need to tell us who won the race. No, we need to get him to Hero Hospital. Oh, God. I'm going after his arms. Find out which arm flew farther. It's all right. Then I won. Check one, two. One, two, three. <laughs> right. Fleet, I asked you to do one thing. Whoa, whoa. What happened to Sparrow? We saved the uh, Hoover Dam from the man car. The man car. He was some kind of crazed transformer, busting holes all through the Hoover Dam. Which Sparrow selflessly plugged with his arms. Jesus. Knight, couldn't you have canceled the party arrangements here? Freefoot said he was going to take care of it after the race. Hello. Salutations. Fleetfoot and Worldman were going to race. Utilizing my detective skills, I'll surmise that my sparrow here was tasked as the finish line. His arms ripped off due to the sheer velocity of our companions. All right, let's get his party started! Put your hands up, put your, put your hands up. The left side won the race. No. Yes! That's our show. Subscribe and then have a fabulous weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Get in that chat. I want to talk to you. Uh, Grace is hosting on Tuesday. I'm back on Wednesday. I'll be joined by Pete and Pete and Kitty Pride. I can't wait. XOXO, you're my favorite. <laughs>